Okay, hi again, YouTube. Um, I just started uh, cycling down. Uh, I'm calling this bad. I numbered all the batteries so I can keep track of everything. This is a uh, number six battery. Uh, this is its first cycle down to cut off to try to balance the cells. Just started it. And um, if you see here, this is the BMS. If I can get that, to, yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> the BMS is saying the pack is at 53.6. I got an external meter saying 53.4, so that's uh, close enough. Looks good. Um, <clears throat> going through the uh, inverter minor and we're see we're pulling yeah 600 watts right now that'll go up once uh it just it just started once it once it gets going it'll, it'll go up to about 750 and uh, okay this is my what we're gonna what we're gonna look at here is i got my external meter because we're gonna see they advertise this is they advertise this is a 120 amp hour. Um, that's not the case. That's not what you're going to get. It may hold 120 amp hours, and I'm not sure about uh, if you can change that, how much it uses in amp hours. But the ones I've cycled so far are only around 95 amp hours in real energy output. Um, we'll check this one. This is the, uh, uh, this one has not, I, was, I meant to say, this one has not <clears throat> been cycled yet. So be interesting to see what this one does. This is straight out of the box. I did top it off uh, with my charger, uh, but that was about, I don't know, maybe a week ago. And it held its charge. You can see it's sitting at 53. And it says, uh, if we go here, it'll tell you um, the state of charge. If I can get to the right menu. Uh, let's see, let's go back. Uh, then we go down. Cell capacity. And you see it's showing 99.18. Uh, 120 amp hours is what it sa says that it's got in it and I'm going to get into this at another video um, This one I'm just I just started just started it and I will come back and do an update when it's done and we'll, we'll see how many amp hours I got out of this thing before the, the low voltage uh, kicks off All right. Thanks for watching Okay, YouTube, um, this is a, a battery that I started this morning, it's just finished, um, ran six and a half hours, um, but the key here is it only produced 92 amp hours and a total power of 4.75 kilowatt hours. Now, this is battery number five out of six I've tested, and they have all come out around here, 4.75. I think the best one was maybe 4.9, I forget. They all seem to run about six and a half hours. They're all, basically, this battery is a false advertisement plus quality control plus whatever else you want to say about it. Um, you think you're getting a 120 amp hour battery? This is what you're getting right here. This is what you're getting. 
a 90 amp hour battery, 4.75 kilowatt hours. 4.75 kilowatt hours total output. So that's why they're cheaper, I guess. I did get, well, we'll get into that on another video. Thanks for watching. I got one more to test. All right, YouTube, I'm back again. Uh, sorry. Uh, I decided to get my laptop out and see what was going on with this battery. See if I can figure out, is it just bad cells or a balancing problem or what the deal is? So, plug my computer, this monitoring software, which looks at all the cells. And I noticed something right off the bat. Um, it cut off. This, this cell number two, Let's see if I can get in focus. That's the cell number two is the cell that caused it to cut off, I believe. But of course, when it cut off, yeah, see it says the lowest is 2.658 volts. 2.658 volts is a cell that cut, that caused it to cut off. If you look at the other cells, um, I don't know how much longer that would have lasted anyway, but you know, maybe it could have made it to at least four kilowatt hours. I mean, five kilowatt hours. I don't know. Uh, this is all trial and error for me. So, but in any case, uh, yeah, it cut off and it cut off. And when he looked, now see the cutoff voltage is 45 volts. So it cut off. And I'm reading it right now, and we're at 49 volts now. It could just be because there's no load on it. That could be also. Um, I don't know. This is the first uh, pass on this battery since I got it from the factory. But they've all been pretty much the same. This is the first time I got the access to the software so that I'm able to go in and look at this stuff. So this is new for me anyway um, but it looks to me like it's cell number two that caused maybe a weak cell or maybe it's unbalanced I don't know but I'll keep you up to date uh, I'm gonna do this last one recharge this one and go from there thanks for watching